peep that. I said, nope. I was kind of like, did she really want, <laughs> is this a gimmick? I don't no, know. No, I really did. I really forgot. Like, it was, I literally, Snapchat, I'm mean, that Twitter, just reminded me that it was like nine years since I joined Twitter. I said, wow, in six of those years, I was so inactive. <laughs> like, I really wasn't. Like, if, if I was active all of six years, could have had more followers. Gosh. But we're filming, though. So. That's cool. Shit. Take a shot. Uh, shit. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Let's say rogue double shot this out. Okay, where did you get this from? My ex was a bartender, so he got like a lot of eggs. A lot yeah, of bartender glasses eggs. and everything. And when we broke up, I thought he was going to take them. Like, he threw it into you all the time. I, was saying, I need a bartender boyfriend. Make me my mixed drinks. So Teach I was me just thinking, I need, to, I need to be in a relationship with people that I need in my life. I can fly to and a bartender. <laughs> not just, just or not even just a relationship. Friendships, oh, too. Oh, friendships. I'm actually, I'm actually trying There's to There's like, some relationships in, but you know, yeah. I wouldn't mind... I'm actually yeah. trying to secure a, 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 a airline friend now. These I'm are, trying to be the airline friend. I'm trying to work there. <laughs> it's, in, my, in my opinion, you never want to seem like you're using people, but at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. But what are friends for? Right. What are friends for? It's give and take without saying. It's kind of like... Right. I mean, I mean, I mean, but I'm not trying to say that I'm specifically looking for my friend to do this. Yeah. I just yeah. happen, if I, if, if I happen to have a friend who happens to do it, we going all the way around the world the, together. The I thing about me it. as well is that I have to vibe with you. I can't yeah, force I can't, it. Nope. And I think that that's why it's not working so well. You kind of mentioned to me earlier, you like to take breaks from people. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think that <laughs> that works in friendship sometimes. Yeah. So, but, but my point is... I think you're like one of the only people that... Because like, we don't see each other that much yeah. anyway, so I never feel like, oh, I need to take a break, break from Jeff. Yeah. I mean, like, we're two minutes away from each other. But I think that we're much alive from that. Even though I don't say that, that's how I how I genuinely feel. It's kind of like... But, but we, don't, we don't see each other every day, but we pretty mm. much have some type of interaction. Yeah, at least one message. On, on IG, Probably Snapchat, Because we're connected on everything. Yeah. So, um, it's funny. It's we was already following each other before we even met. I was already friends and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> before we even met in person. I guess we should at least introduce ourselves since the video is rolling because I do want to put this out. Um, did you want to go ladies first or how did you want to? Well, I'm, I am already. The women's revolution. <laughs> you know, the evolution pay per view is coming up. I am a lady. <laughs> but um, my name's Amber. Um, some of you may see me on this guy's live. Yeah, like, this is going to go on my page. Like, every time. So, you know, for the new people, I'm Amber. Nice to meet everybody. Did you want to put out your IG? I, you know, I was thinking that, but I, I didn't We'll just know. say it a few times. We're going to have 10 minutes. Yeah. Cheap plug, cheap plug. Yeah, <laughs> just like McFoley. Right. <laughs> you put that cheap plug in. Um, You can follow me on my Instagram. It's underscore am, A-M, underscore B, E, E, two E's. Underscore underscore, or you can find me on Facebook, Amber M Merritt, um, Twitter, Amy underscore bittersweet, but you can't have a Snapchat. Why not? Nobody has Snapchat. Why not? Anyways, uh, yeah. have you ever thought about? Um, because I just recently found that you have two IG accounts. You ever thought about two Snapchats? That's I don't too know. Much. This is so so. But sure, but IG has a snap. Kind of features. Well, yeah, too. yeah. So the thing is with my um uh, my IG. So when I decided to start over, I was still messing with the original page, but the whole switching back and forth between accounts, it was just like uh, it was too much. So I was just like, I'm stick with this main account. It's still there. I'm I'm not going to delete it because I do take some pictures from there when I want to do like random throwbacks. I go on there and like you know what? Does it have a lot of pictures up there or? Fifteen hundred pictures on there. Woo! Uh, but not they're not all of me. It's like oh. I used to I used to post like a lot of um, you know memes on there mm -hmm. versus pictures of me. But mm -hmm. there is some pictures of me that are not on the current IG. So I okay. I I'll go because I remember the name on there. So I'll go on there and be like you know let me look through here. And but I had but I had that page like right when IG first started. It's like that same with Facebook, right? When Facebook was public to everyone. I got it right then, so I've had my Facebook since like 2007, 2006. Most people don't even have that, so, so yeah. I had to start over. It was like 1,500 pictures. I have 300 on my current one, and I've had that one for four, almost four years now. 
place. I think I stopped being a, a little less conceited because I was like very conceited during that time. So <laughs> I like how you said a little less. <laughs> a little less. No, I'm still conceited. Mm -hmm. Just a little less so when it comes to pictures. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, oh my, my name is Jeffrey Taylor. Uh, it sounds so corny saying this, but I guess I'm not in that corporate mode yet, but the founder, brand, Jeffrey Show Live. Jeffrey Show Live on everything, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y. Trademark it. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, yeah, it's trademark. Uh, and everything, so what, what I talk about is like pop culture, so I think that we've only talked about wrestling, but I wanna get into your pop culture side. Okay. In a sense, because a lot of people don't know that about you. They know they, you as a woman of color. They wrestling. I think they know Which there's the more, time, we just don't kind of go to that. I guess this is my main focus is wrestling, because I mean, that's technically really all you That's kind of how know. I introduced you, just wrestling. And then when people start adding on Facebook, they say, oh. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you'll see yeah. um you'll see other things, you know, a little bit. Uh, on Instagram. Oh, I post a lot of my music stuff. Yeah. Um so. a lot of music that I'm interested in and I, um my teams. My teams. Who is your team? Cowboys. Cowboys. We beat Giants twenty thirteen. What's up? Okay, rise up, okay. No. No, that's no, not it. No. <laughs> no. no, no, no. Okay. I mean Falcons did win yesterday, so they did win. They won. They did win. But that's not what people yeah. are talking about. Everybody talking about the Cowboys. Let me tell you about this though. It's like they projected the Giants to win. Okay. So Giants lose. Then then people are like, Oh, it's just the that's Giants. Oh they yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you got it. It's like, oh, it's just the Giants. I said, but wait a minute. It was, oh, Cowboys ain't going to beat the Giants. But when we beat them, oh, it's just the Giants. Giants hasn't beaten us since 2016. So mm. we on a two-year streak right now. Mm. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Mm. We'll I see how it goes to the um, second game. But, I mean, it was that win was very important for us because, you know, last week we didn't do that great against the Panthers. Defense did great to hold them only to 16 points. But... Everyone in my division lost last night, so Cowboys are the only one to stand tall in a first division game, and we already got to win. So, that's what I'm saying. Cowboys all day. Okay, okay. I, I'm very passionate about Cowboys. I'm also, I'm a Celtics fan, um, basketball. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I love Boston. That's where I'm sticking at. So, we know where, what teams you represent. We're going to see if the people are are messing with her or not after this video but most likely probably aren't yeah. and they're gonna be like oh you was you was so attractive until i found you as a cowboys fan i get that a lot oh man what about your um are you gonna be one of the people that talks about your relationship in the public or is it okay oh, now if know. somebody says are you single or because no, i'm starting to realize actually. people like really excuse me they really want to know like i saw kira hogan um, you're familiar with Kira yeah, Hogan. Yeah, I got a picture with her. She's so nice. So nice. And people are kind of like saying, hey, I want to take you on a date. Are you, you know, she in a shot when you know if yeah. you're not mistaken. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. We, so it's kind of like it's one of those things where is that interview question going to be like, That's not now. I mean, it's, it's still I'm still open pretty, right now. I'm pretty public with it's still my relationships. I'm like, I'm quick to say, I'm like, you know, I'm single. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, the question I hate okay. after they ask me that is, why? That is a common question. I even ask that question. I'm not even going to lie. I ask that right. question sometimes. So, no, I mean, let me tell you. So, if, if, if you're a guy trying to shoot your shot and, you know, okay, I'm single, great. Don't ask me why I'm single. Because if if I wasn't single, you wouldn't even have the opportunity to even talk to me right now. So, I mean, you know, just That's be glad. That's a good perspective. I'm just saying. Just, I, she's single. You don't even need to know why. Shoot your shot. End story. That's it. I'm, I'm single. I'm just single. I'm single by choice. And let's leave it at that. I'm just, I like... I just like really my time, and I'm not the type of person who will waste it to be in a relationship, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. That's just how I feel about it. Gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. One of the things that um, I've recently found out about you in a, in a month or so is that you're actually kind of into reality television. Oh, like, I'm, yeah, I am heavy I didn't even it. know that. I'm, I'm big on reality am, television as well. I've just overheard you listening to the Keeping Up With the Kardashians. Uh, before we came o over here, so oh, yeah. uh, I, I missed the basketball wild season finale. I mean, I not see the finale reunion. I watched it last I night. The reunion. So, uh, so after um, Hell and Cell went off, okay, I went um, straight into Insecure. I watched Insecure. So right into Insecure. Insecure was good. 
good. It was always, good. It's always oh, good. Oh no. Always it good. wasn't good as episode five this season. No, it wasn't it wasn't it didn't it wasn't, it but wasn't I'm like, wait, wait, for okay. this season it wasn't good until last week when Lawrence came back. When we saw Lawrence at the end, that Baychella episode. That episode was really good. Yeah. Okay, so for this season, yeah. So after that, then I watched Basketball Wise um reunion. So I've been watching Basketball Wise since the Miami days. Like Okay. You know, that's it's a long time. All right, Royce. She's my favorite. <laughs> I, 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 I see myself in Royce. Susie was like, a shepherd? No, Susie was messy. <laughs> Susie was messy. I loved it. She's too messy. Messy. Like, I'm like messy, but she was just was too messy. messy. I, I feel like she wasn't delivering the messages right. Like, she was adding her own little spin to it, so it's kind of like... I loved it. You know, I think she. I think Susie's nice, but Ooh, so. she was a little too much for me. No, Royce, Royce is my favorite. I feel like I see myself in Royce because it's like... Either either you, you, you either you like me or you don't, and this is who I am. And Royce was who she was, and it's kind of like remember that episode where they was at like some pool party and Royce was all dancing or whatever, and they was hyping her up. Mm-hmm. But then when it leaked and they had all that backlash, they went back in the green screen talking about oh Royce blah 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 like they wasn't just hyping the girl up right. to do all that, you know stuff like that. I'm I'm totally into that. I think you know my favorite my favorite you know bring it back to wrestling total diva total bellas. Oh yeah, I actually, I actually don't keep up with that, but it's actually a really good show. I will say that that's actually what made me even. That's actually what made me like the Bell Twins in the first place. I liked them when they first showed up. I mean, I like every woman who gets in the ring, Mm -hmm. but for a bit, the Bella Twins was kind of was just like, ugh, whatever. Brie was always my favorite. Um, I always felt like. (laughs) <laughs> All right. I feel like her wrestling ability was always the best, but then I don't know when Nikki got with John Cena and you know she I don't know what happened or transformation. I was, I'm I'm like strictly Nikki Bella. I'm still Bree, but like I wish I wish I was more like.